from grumble to humble. It was uh, one of those mornings when I swung my feet out from underneath the blankets onto the cold floor. I found myself grumbling about just about everything. It was cold, my arms hurt, I worried about money, I despised the errands I had to run, and damn it, I'm just grumpy. I made a point of going extra slow and some sort of protest to myself in the universe about irritating minutia that later wouldn't amount to a hill of beans. And the fact I was grumpy about that made me grumpier. I was just having a hard time snapping out of the polarized mind warp I found myself in. Ah, coffee. That'll do it. I made a pot and sat down at the computer with the steaming cup of cheer. Still irritable, but far off in the distance I could see a glimmer of better moods ahead. I skeptically decided to listen to a meditation I received in my email inbox from Emmanuel Dogger entitled, Activating Your Money Magnet. I could feel weird resentments and more grumpiness rising up, but I went ahead and listened to the 20-minute meditation. It was actually not bad. Mainly, and thankfully so, Mr. Dogger focused on the essentials, self-love, honor, and respect. I sat sipping my coffee and listening, and there was, finally, a shift, and I snapped into non-duality, leaving the grouchy grumpies behind. Mr. Dogger pointed out that everything that happens to us is for the good. As Pollyanna as that sounds on the surface, especially when you're pointing a grumpy finger at the universe, from a cosmic perspective, it is truth. It's too easy to pick up the thread of habituated monkey mind thinkety-think and the fake facts of discomfort, pains, and worries on top of completely baseless fears that we lose track of this basic truth. The love of and in our life starts with the self. If we don't love ourselves, we literally cannot love our life, and thus the things, people, circumstances, and events within it. To love self is to honor self, and this can be a hard one. How often is it that you made what seemed to be a mistake, only to find out later it actually wasn't a mistake, or by the making of it you discovered something valuable you didn't know before? There really are no mistakes. Sure, there are apparent miscalculations, errors of judgment and such, but these are only so because of our perspective. From a cosmic view, everything that happens is exactly what is needed for a higher expression or frequency of existence. We get glimpses of this greater world and yet have difficulty with the navigation to it as though the vision of it requires physical movement or doing. This is not necessary. This greater world we see is the world where you love and honor yourself. Go ahead. Imagine your life where you always love and honor yourself. You feel pain, you drop something, you injure yourself. All these are opportunities to honor the process of the experience. These things deepen the experience of self and result in greater compassion for your life and for the lives of others who may be having a much tougher time of it. By honoring life and our place in it, we can feel gratitude. And that gratitude faces us towards the cosmic gateway of a greater life and a higher world for all. I finished my coffee and rose from my chair, only to knock the empty cup off the desk onto the floor intact. I paused to honor the event and smiled. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX, www.pureenergyrx.com.